Hello students, once again welcome to Bhulanath Academy. In the rotational dynamics, we are going to see the next type of theorem students that is called a state and prove the theorem of parallel axis. In this video, we are going to see a state. We are going to state the theorem of parallel axis and we are going to prove the theorem of parallel axis. Understanding students, state and prove the theorem of parallel axis. Theorem of parallel axis. What is the theorem of parallel axis students? First, we are going to see the moment of inertia of a body about an axis is equal to the sum of its moment of inertia about a parallel axis through its center of mass that is ic and the product of the mass of the body and the square of the distance between two axes understanding that is the mass of the body and the distance the square of the distance between two axes that is the io and ic the distance is what h so io equals to ic plus mh square understanding so this is the theorem of parallel axis students so we this is the mathematical expression students so this is the theorem i have done. this is i i o and this is i c understanding students and this is the different h we call as what h consider an object of mass m this is the object students the mass of object is what m and infinitesimal small element dm of body at a point d now on this mass students i have taken only a small amount of mass here now moment of inertia body about the axis through its center of mass is given by ic is equals to moment of inertia at point here students moment of inertia is nothing but cd square dm cd square and the mass of the particles understanding so this is the moment of inertia on this axis the moment of inertia body about the parallel axis that is o moment of inertia at this students io equals to we are going to find the distance od square into small amount of mass that is dm understanding students now io od is made up of students od if you draw the triangles like this students od is nothing but it is made up of dn square dn square plus on square pythagoras apply the pythagoras students so dn square plus on square into dm understanding yes or no so this way you can calculate now dn square we are going to indicate dn square plus on is made up of oc plus cn two whole square that is a plus b two whole square and dm is, is as it is now what happens students when you expand this now we are not integrating we are expanding the terms now what happens students io equals to integration of dn square plus oc square plus two times oc and cn plus cn square dm now when you put the value students see this cn square plus dn square is nothing but cd square understanding now oc is what h and 2 h and cn will be as it is understanding into dm now we are introducing the integration inside the bracket what happens when this integration first will go to the how many terms now students here one two three terms are there so integration will go all these three terms so integration of cd square dm plus because plus is there plus will be as it is integration of h square dm plus again integration of 2h into cn dm now what happens students integration of cd plus dm h square dm here students 2h is constant we have to take it out constant will we are not going to integrate if it is coming with the variable so 2h will come out integration of cn now students integration of cn is what here it is equals to 0 whole terms will become 0 now here you have to take integration of cd square is nothing but ic and the moment of inertia at the center now h we have taken out integration of small small part when integrate mass will integrate students you will get what capital m that is the mass of the object so io equals to ic plus mh square this way we can prove the theorem students understanding students now we are going to state the and prove the theorem of perpendicular axis about the moment of inertia okay students this is the next part students theorem of perpendicular axis about the moment of inertia now we are going to find the moment of inertia the moment of inertia of a plane lamina about an axis perpendicular to its plane is equal to the sum of its moment of inertia about two mutually perpendicular axis in its plane and the, through the point of intersection of the perpendicular axis and the lamina understand students the moment of inertia of a plane lamina about an axis perpendicular to its plane is equal to the sum of its moment of inertia about two mutually perpendicular axis in the its plane and through the point of intersection of the perpendicular axis and the lamina understand students here with we, we are talking about the lamina of the plane here the object is raised students. this object is converted divided into what x y and z axis understanding consider a small is infinitesimal small amount dm of the lamina at the point p x1 now here we have taken the small amount of mass of this object dm which is at point p understanding students the moment of inertia of the lamina about z axis about the z axis students is equals to ij equals to integration of op square into dm the mass is what dm and the distance is what op 
so integration moment of inertia along the z axis is equals to integration of op square plus d the moment of inertia of the lamina about the x and y axis are given by i x equals to integration of y square dm and i y equals to integration of x square dm so this is the moment of inertia at y axis difference here that is i y have written i x and this is what i z so i z equals to integration of op square dm i x equals to integration of y square dm i x i x this part difference y square uh, y square dm i x equals to integration of y square dm i y equals to integration of x square dm now what have is what happens friends you know op square equals to y square plus s square by pythagoras because it is right angle triangle so it means op square is nothing but y square plus x square understanding i z equals to i z equals integration of op square into dm now put the value of op means that is nothing but op square is nothing but y square plus x square into dm now when you integrate it means it, it is nothing but integration of y square dm plus integration of x square dm now integration of y square dm is nothing but moment of inertia along the x axis integration of x square dm is nothing but moment of inertia about y axis so this way you can say student this prove the theorem of perpendicular axis this way we can prove the theorem of perpendicular i z equals to i x plus i y this is very important theorem students so many problems are coming on this theorem if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much god bless you